What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. And we're going to continue questing, getting levels, and just, you know, kicking ass and taking names. I'm going to be trying out the new Fisticuffs build I have. Uh, it's, let me just tell you something. I've used this before. It's freaking dope, but I really need those steel knuckles. So hopefully we'll get some steel knuckle schematics or some steel knuckle parts soon. Uh, that would be awesome. I don't recognize this POI. All right. That doesn't mean this isn't a POI that's been in the game. It just means I don't recognize it and it might be new. Who knows? All right. He's already dead. He's already dead. All right. So we need to clear the area and just clear the area and find the white river supplies. Okay. So I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go here. Is it part of this or is it just this part? Oh, okay. Hold on. I, I remember this. Come on out. Oh boy. Come on out, Zambies. You know, I'm going to feel pretty, uh, pretty exposed until I get some points into, what's that skill called? Uh, pain tolerance. Haymaker. Dude, haymaker is legit. And I've got that, um, I've got that killer instinct, which gives me bonus experience and stuff, which is awesome. I guess it's on a kill. Yeah, it's on a kill. I get 5%. That's awesome. All right. Okay. I'll take the ammo. I do have the shotgun with me. I actually um, left the AK at home because I wanted to, you know, try some shotgun action. Um, I was not impressed with the shotgun on Horde Night. Might have just been my own fault with the aiming. Might have been that the shotgun's kind of weak. I, I don't really know. Um, but I kind of like the AK better right now, but that's okay. Uh, we'll see what we can do with the shotgun. All right. So we got to go this way. Beautiful. Oh, here we go. Come on. Let's do this. Fist of cuffs. Oh, boy. Swing and a miss. I punched him. Oh, God. I thought it would be one shot kill. Yeah, you don't want to screw around with the vultures like that. Because, like I just did. Uh, don't do what I do as I say, not as I do. And the reason you don't want to screw around with the vultures like that is because they have a pretty high chance at um, infecting you and just messing you up in general. Um, so, yeah, you kind of want to shoot them. But I, I thought I'd one shot them with the, with the uh, left mouse click. Left mouse click is the weak attack. Right mouse click is the haymaker. You know, the power attack, and, um, yeah, it wasn't enough. Oh, boy, I don't like this. Okay. Oh, I'm still high. Okay, cool. Anybody down here? Or... Oh, we got some trash right here. Trash in this game is not trash. It's actually pretty decent. Okay. Here we go. By the way, I do have um, iron shovels. I choose to use this shovel because it's much easier on the old uh, stamina. Uh, once I, I have an, I, I have like a yellow, uh, uh, quality three yellow iron shovel and a pickaxe. But I want to get one more point in the sexy rex before I start carrying them around. I feel like um, these are kind of the way to go. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, start you off with a haymaker chump. So one thing I would like to see in this game is I like the way it shows you your game stage. But I wanted to show your original, like your unmodified game stage, and then the game stage of the area you're in, in maybe parentheses or something. Like right here, like I level like quite a bit, and I'm I'm never sure what my regular game stage is, or sorry, loot stage. I keep calling it game stage, force of habit. Uh, I'm never sure what my regular loot stage is, so it should say like my regular loot stage, and then game stage in parentheses or loot stage in parentheses, or it could say loot stage and then my basic loot stage in parentheses that would um that would really help that would help a lot and i do think i'm going to start putting down uh instead of putting down cobblestone blocks i think i'm gonna start putting down wood and upgrading it the reason i don't put down wood to upgrade the cobblestone blocks is it is wasting wood there's no need for it but the thing is if you put down the cobblestone blocks in a spot you don't want them then you can't pick them up so i don't know it'll it'll probably be a good idea and plus it'll give me upgrade experience Stop freaking ducking down and hit me, you piece of shit. There you go. All right, what do you got for me? All right, cool. That loot stuff's always pretty good. Huh, <sighs> digging cobblestone. Hell yeah. Hells yeah. Oh, is there something up here? Oh, yeah, there is. Look at that. Look at that. Don't need that, but I will scrap that. Maybe I should take lead with me. I think I found some lead mines. Did I find lead mines? I'm pretty sure I did, but I don't think I marked it down. I think there was lead mines up here. I, oh, are those potassium? 
Dan was telling me that the potassium ones are easy to find. They're white. Um, I did my, I did marks. Yeah, there we go. I did mark some potassium mines. So yeah, potassium is easy to find. What are the, what are the orange ones? Are those iron? And are these coal? I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of take a look at that at some point. Not really what I'm supposed to be concentrating on right now though, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Um, I really want to go into some of the, um, more challenging biomes, but I'm going to need, I'm going to need certain clothes if I want to live through it. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for right now. I think what I need to do is when I go to the trader, I need to like pay attention to what clothes he's selling and buy some. Uh, I need puffer coats. Oh, I already have a puffer coat, but I'm going to need things like, um, I can make a poncho as well. And I actually, maybe I might be able to go into the cold biome if I could find one. It's going to take a while to ride around on a bike though. That's the problem. Um, with going into the cold biome. If I'm riding around on a bike, it, you know, if I don't know where it is, then that's just going to take forever. And um, probably not my, the best use of my time. There we go. I'll take that. All right. And what do we got in here? Someone behind the desk. Is that it? Oh, big boy. Come on, big boy. Stop breaking the freaking desks, you jerk. I'm going to haymaker your ass right to hell. How do you like that? You like me now. Okay, and what do we got here? Coffee? Yes. Beautiful. All right, let's take a look at our inventory. There we go. And one of the reasons my time is so valuable to me, like, you know, not having to go around and search for other biomes, is because of food. Like, my food is not in a good spot. I'm okay right now, but... Oh, look at all these clothes. Cool. I I'm okay right now. But that food situation is gonna is gonna be a problem within like a day, you know. The bacon and eggs just do not give you enough. So, all right. Ooh, that'll help. For, yep, right there. That's the kind of stuff I need. Cold resist, baby. Okay, there's another one. So I don't need both of those. Uh, they're both the same, right? Three point one. Oh no, I'm sorry. Heat resist. When I say cold resist. Oh, that's kind of weird. Why does it say? Po oh, because I'm comparing with this. Nine point one, seven point seven. Okay. 9.1. That's what I want. All right. So I think if I find, you know, a duster would be the best, but I think if I make a poncho, I might be able to live in the desert. So, or not live in the desert, but visit the desert. It's a great place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. All right. This is good for, oh, that's not bad for cold resist, but doesn't that take a place of your armor? Pretty sure it does. No, it doesn't. It goes right there. Well, that's an upgrade. Cool. What about the shirt? I, I, you know, I'm, oh, BDU tops are the best. Oh, so this is actually better for cold. Wait. Cold resist 2.8, 6.6. Okay, yeah. So that's better for heat resist. Okay, so the BDU bottoms are not the end all be all. This is actually better for heat resist. Although this is even better for heat resist. That's, that's um, wait, 10.4, 9.1? That's actually better for heat resist? A full fledged shirt is better than a, a tank top? Interesting. Well, that's better than that one all around. And this will be better if I need the heat resist, which, um, yeah, I do want to check out the desert because I feel like the desert has more, more cool stuff than the other biomes as well. Now, when you go into the desert or, uh, where's my game stage? Not, not, not the time. All right. So when you go into the desert, you are going to drink more. All right. If you have heat issues, if you go into the, if you go into the snow biome, you're going to eat more if you have issues. And I'd rather have to drink more. Especially right now with food being such a problem. There we go. You're dead. You're dead. You're gonna be dead soon. Okay. Coffee's a uh, coffee. <laughs> Stamina is a bit of an issue. I should probably have some coffee. It's just taking up inventory space anyway. Okay. All right, guys. Let's dance. So one one thing I love about this um the Fortitude melee build is you know the fisticuffs build as I like to call it the brawler build yeah brawler the thing I like about the brawler build is you can like perma stun the enemy it's so awesome it's so awesome it doesn't do a lot of damage but it also it's really easy on your stamina and you can stun lock the enemy and that's just a wonderful wonderful thing okay what do you got in here oh okay. It's one of the good ones, right? I think it is. You probably can't put it on a shotgun, though. Oh, you can. Beautiful. 
I don't have anything on the shotgun, so that's that's a win for me. Um, not doing bows. That's gonna get sold. I don't like that one either. Um, I'll I'll hold on to the to the mod. You never get rid of mods um, because you could put them on purple items later on in the game, and they sell. For, it makes them sell for a lot more. So uh, we got in here. Uh, okay, I see you, trash. All right, more pumpkin seeds. Uh, that's a scrap. Scrap that crap. I guess I can't climb up that ladder. All right, food, shamway container. Uh, by the way, the area is clear, so that's awesome. This is a tier three. It feels a little small for a tier a tier three. Um, I'm also gonna have to break into this, and I won't. I probably won't be able to with the amount of lockpicks I have, and I don't have any of the candy. So, uh, automatic weapons do 20% less degradation. That's awesome. And I can't fit anything else in there, so that's cool. Let's, uh, well, what do I have in this? Um, eh, it's, it's fine. That's fine. I'll leave it where it is for now. What do you got for me? Gun store book thingy. Scrap that. And we will repair that. And let's see if we can get into this with the lockpicks we have. Well, look at me. I did it on one lockpick. Beautiful. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad at loot either. Okay. So now I need to find the White River supplies. They are on the roof. Was I on the roof already? I was, right? Yeah, they're on the roof. Let me just make sure I got everything in here that I can see. Uh, registers, no. Okay. All right, let me go get the White River supplies and we'll turn this sucker in. So I was told in stream that there's a button here that opens up the garage. So... Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because I was... um. I came here on stream, I think, and I was like leaving the building and uh, I think it was Dan who was telling me, oh, go back. You got to, you know, you could use the button. And I was like, I didn't know what you were talking about. I was already gone, but um, I told him I would try and remember next time I came here and um, hey, look at me. I did. Now, is that going to be working? Um, oh, hold on. Is this going to be working? Probably not. I was told to wrench these when they're not, when they're, when they're broken. Uh, but the fact of the matter is I'm going to wait until I get more points into um salvage operations so oh and i never got the waiver supplies because i was so interested in <laughs> dude guys i was so interested in finding that button that i was told about i almost forgot the white river supplies oh my goodness that would have been that would have been just glorious let me find them get out of here check the good old vending machine that restocks every day <laughs> and um yeah I'll grab some eye candy why not and the piece the rest of the stuff is you know Meh. Well, well, All right, what do you got for me, bro? Surprise, surprise. Oof. I wow, that was... Ugh. Something in return now. Ugh. I, uh, I guess I gotta take the painkillers. Oh, boy. That is, um... What is the press plate cap? Heat resist? Actually, I do want heat resist stuff. That is a good question. Um, Doesn't the cowboy hat give you heat resist as well? Hold on. Let me take a look. All right, I, I feel like this is the wrong choice, but 8.2 heat resist, I don't I don't have anything like that. And I don't know about the cowboy hat because I'd have to make it first. doesn't tell you the stats. So I'm going to go with that for the heat resist because I really, really do want to, um, I really want to hit like some of the other biomes. Oh, look at that. Clear zombies, 90. That's not the same place, is it? I don't think so. By the way, I did restore power on stream and I didn't love it. Uh, I'll probably do more later on in the game, but... I didn't see any like bonuses. There was no loot bonus that I saw. There was no ending bonus on what I got from the for, for the quest. So it's just difficulty for difficulty's sake. As far as I can tell. I could be wrong about that. If I am, let me know. But I'm, that's kind of how I saw it. All right, let's do this one right here. And let's see if he's got anything we want to buy. Or sell. Well, we definitely got to sell stuff. So the trader didn't have anything crazy. But he did have this um, automatic weapons handbook. And I also got a duckbill mod for the shotgun i also bought two tires because of how like rare the acid's been defined and yeah that's about it uh let's grab this this put this stuff up here okay beautiful all right let's do this quest come on guys come on anybody in here are you running no you're stuck and now your head's exploded What's up, bro? Yeah. Dude, you got he got stunned like four times before he even hit the ground. 
That's pretty beast. Oh boy. There you go. I want to keep that 15% up, please. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of your shit. Where'd the rest of the guys go? Where'd the rest of the zombies, man? Like, I know a bunch of them fall through the ceiling, but I don't know. I must have killed them all. They all dead. All right, let's go ahead and loot this place. Even though these shelving units have not been good to me. But. Gotta be good to me at some point. Uh, a bunch of nails. That's that's actually helpful. It'd be even more helpful if I can get the freaking lock picking candy, please. And all right, I mean this stuff is useful, like it's stuff I'm gonna need, but it's just not sexy, you know? Not like something really crazy, but that's all right. You know, um, slow and steady wins the race, right? Slow and steady survives the apocalypse. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's come up here. We'll start from this way. Okay. I actually like that um, oil. That stuff's legit. Oh, another thing I got to do is when I find working vending machines, I have to mark them on the map. I think, I found, I think I've only found one, but I don't think I marked it on the map. As a matter of fact, I know I didn't. So that was, uh, that was a bit of a mistake there. Now, I know I'm going to need nails. I know I am. I just don't know if I want to waste the inventory spot on them. Now, when you scrap stuff, you lose... You still lose, like, 25% when you scrap stuff, right? Like, theoretically, if I scrap 100 nails and then craft 100 nails, I've wasted about 25%, I think. That's the way it used to be. I don't, I don't know if they've changed it or not. But... All right. Check back here. Oh, yeah. I forgot they fall out of the ceiling. All right. Here we go. Yeah, that's what you get. That's it. that's how it works, man. You come mess with me, you get your head punched off your shoulders. Mm, take those. I'm going to come back and grab all the concrete and cobblestone. After I've looted the place. Or maybe I'll forget. Or maybe I'll just get, like, get impatient and say, eh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but I have every intention of doing it. Alright, wake up, everybody. Good job. Good job, bro. What's my game stage here? Uh, 32. Right, here we go. I'm gonna stand my ground. See how that goes. Oh, boy. Did not go well. Okay. I'm not even sure what happened. It didn't look like anyone was hitting me. I think someone fell on the ground and hit me, hit me low. All right, so what is that? A uh, deep laceration, um, first aid kit or sewing kit? Um, okay, well, that's a bit of a bummer. We're gonna have to deal with that for a little bit. You know, that's why that's why I need. Uh, if I got a level, I have. That's why I need. Um, all right, first of all, living off the land three, but that's why I need pain tolerance. I'm gonna start probably putting point. I'm gonna I'm gonna start probably putting points into pain tolerance. Probably putting points into pain tolerance. Probably putting points into pain tolerance. <laughs> Oh boy. Look at you. Look at you. And you got no head. Broke open all the boxes. Let's go ahead and loot them. Actually, you know what? I think I can get to the end before the eye candy wears off. Maybe. Let's try. And then that way we can get the good loot here as well as the good loot at the end. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to look at this stuff really. I'm just going to loot it. Because if I can get to the end within five minutes, that would be awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that it? Probably. Nope. Yep, that's it, I think. Yep, looks good to me. Alright, let's get going. Gotta go over here. That's the end, but I, f I forgot this is a clear. So we can't leave anything alive. Alright, there you are. Boom. I don't think so. Really? You're done. You're done, bro. Man, I need those spiked knucks, man. When I get those spiked knucks, it's over. GG. No re. Oops. <laughs> I forgot when I modded this thing, it took the ammo out. I can't... 
I, it doesn't look like I'm hitting him, but I think I should be close enough. All right, whatever. Oh, damn it. Worst zombie survivor ever. <laughs> I'm actually not going to take that dog apart because I'm trying to get to the end before the five minutes is up. Yeah, that was awful. I, I know the I know the shotgun doesn't work after a certain amount of blocks. I think it's 10. I, th I thought it was closer than that, but I don't know. Maybe not. It's all good. All right. Uh, yeah, we still got plenty of room. Um, oh, okay, cool. Uh, craft basic resources like ore, stone, wood, and more compact stacks. That's actually a... Pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, book right there, and I can use it to get a lot of experience. But we gotta hurry up. Two minutes. All right, here we go. Wow. Okay, that was pretty devastating. Not gonna lie. Oh crap! I forgot something. I got a lock pick. Ah, damn it. That means if it doesn't, well, I'm I'm either gonna break all my lock picks or the time before the time's up anyway. Or I'm not, so it doesn't really matter with the time. Uh, the thing is, I, I'm going to put a point in a lock picking. I want to make lock picks. Uh, I'm not. I don't seem to be getting enough of them, and this stuff is uh, all over the place that I have to pick lock all the time. Okay, I did it. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. And it paid off. Do I have anything in my chest armor? I do not. It is an upgrade, right? Yeah, it's a hell of an upgrade. Best believe that. Oh, awesome. That is just awesome. Okay. So I've got to finish the clear. I know there's someone over here. Let's come over here and see what's up. That's what's up. Ah, oh, we still got zombies left. Damn it. Oh, they're below. Okay. Oh, yeah. Isn't there like zombies in this room or something? Oh. Wait. Clear area. But it's pointing me to a... Oh, there they are. Okay. Come on out. Come take your medicine. Come get your haymakers. All right, that was the last one. All right, cool. We're actually going to get this before the um before the candy was up as well. Man, that was a really good time to take the candy. It worked out well. I'm very happy about that. I didn't get anything spectacular, but I got a nice chest armor upgrade, so that's cool. By the way, I got all the concrete and, and cobblestone, or at least probably most of it. And um, yeah, well, let's see what we get for this tier three quest turn in. All right, what you got for me, bro? Uh, well, I mean, that's got to be the steel pickaxe, right? <laughs> now, you talk about running out of stamina. You're going to run out of stamina big time with the steel pickaxe. The thing is, it does give you more material per, like, swing. So even though it's probably a little bit slower, you're going to get more material per iron ore you break up. I'm thinking of iron ore. Could be anything. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the choice right there. All right, now, I don't think he has any that are really close. So I am not going to take any of these. Never mind. And he doesn't have anything I care about, so never mind with that either. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is we are going to go home and we are going to take stock of what we have. I think we have enough stuff to go looking for the biomes, uh, the more difficult biomes. Uh, wasteland would be great. Uh, does it, the thing is, do you get do you get cold or hot in the wasteland? Or I, I don't know. I don't usually go to the wasteland, but uh, yeah. So wasteland would be great, but you know, I'll I'll I'll, I'll take anything at this point. All right, I do have to bring some stuff home, too, so let's do that as well. Oh, boy, roaming hordes are back, people. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do it. Let's get it on. Fight night in front of the... Well, fight, fight day in front of the traitor. Yeah, there you go. What's up? You better sit down, woman. Stay down. You too. Oh, this is freaking cool. I miss the roaming hordes. I mean, they're kind of annoying when you get them too much when you're trying to build, but man, like this kind of roaming horde is awesome. There you go, and you're done. So cool. Love it. I really love that the Fun Pimps made the other biomes worth going to. Uh, not only because it's interesting to see new scenery, but I love the fact that I have to pay attention to my clothes now. I mean, that's really cool. So, uh, for heat resist, uh, for cold resistance, I've got the puffer coat, which is a whopping 25. And I've got a sweater. Um, can I put both of those on? Like the ones for the shirt. Yes, I can. Beautiful. All right. So that's um that's a pretty decent amount. Uh, it might not be enough though, honestly. Uh, for the desert biome, I've got the leather poncho. That seems weak. 
Why is it so weak? 11.1. Uh, this one's, oh, 10.4. Okay. Yeah, so 11.1 is my best uh, for the heat. Um, and I think that takes the spot of the shirts, or does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I can wear both. All right. Well, I, it doesn't look like I'm not set up for the desert. Uh, this one right here is heat resist 8.2, uh, which will go in my hat. Um, I'm just going to grab all this stuff with me, and I'm just going to head out in a direction next episode and see what I find. If I find something that, you know, is one of the interesting biomes, I'll have everything I need. Hopefully. And if not, you know, we'll just kind of go from there. One other thing I could do is, like, I noticed I can make shorts. So why don't we make some shorts? Um, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Also, these, um, these sewing kits seem kind of rare, too. So, uh, yeah, tank top, baseball cap, bandana. Yeah. Okay, let's make some shorts. I hope I'm not wasting my time. I don't have a lot of, uh familiarity familiarity you know what i'm saying i don't have a lot of experience uh dealing with clothes so um shorts should help though uh the pants i have look like they're more for cold resistance so um the heat resistance is light and those shorts will help with the heat resistance so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna spend the rest of the night in here and tomorrow we are gonna go out and head in a direction i don't know what direction we're gonna head in a direction and see what we can find do some exploration so the shorts are another 4.1 heat, heat resist, a total of 8, which is pretty good. I think I'm good for the heat resist. I'm just not sure about cold resist. I think what I need to do is keep a lookout for one of the clothing stores or a laundromat. I think that would be the next uh, the next building on my hit list. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.